All right, so this is how you can add a special border to one or more cells. You have to select the cells first. And then if you go up to your design tab, and think of it this way, it's one, two, three going down here. Pick your style, pick your weight, and pick your color. And once you've done that, then you need to tell Word, okay, where do I want to put it? Maybe I only want it on the top, and you can see a live preview, or maybe you only want it on the bottom, or so on, left, right, and I will just put an outside border here. And that is the end result. Now, the next thing is if for some reason we would want to merge these. You can select the two cells, go up to the Layout tab, and click Merge Cells. And it tells you the selected cells will merge into one cell. So that's one way that you can do it. And it ends up looking like that. And I'll undo it. And the second way you can do it is use this Erase tool and click on the border that you want to disappear and when you hover on it, it will tell you that it is going to create a merge cell. So if I click on this, it just effectively does the same thing. And you can see the eraser is active. You can click it to turn it off or just press your escape key. So I just added a column to the left. And when you want a column right at the left, there is no little plus sign that you can click on. So the way I had to do it was I had my cursor in my column, and then I went to my Layout tab, and I clicked this one, Insert Left, and it put a column onto the left. But what happened is it carried over this formatting, and I don't want this formatting here. So the way that I got rid of it is I put my cursor in this cell and then I clicked on the design tab and then I clicked here on shading, no, sorry, border styles and I found this border sampler and when I click it and it tells me it's going to copy the formatting of the cell I was in, which is perfect. So I click it, and it's like, okay, I've sucked up these, you know, this blue color and this weight. And now I need to click on the border painter, and then click this line, and this line, and this line. And then I need to click it again to turn it off, or usually escape will turn it off and it does. So if you click and hold and drag to get the column selected or just put your cursor at the top of the column until you see that arrow there and click and it will select the whole column and then I want you to merge the cells together. Layout tab, merge cells and when you click out Wow, that was not expected, but that's okay. We're going to change that. <laughs> okay, so here's my column added. If I did want to take out the blue fill and have a different fill, it would be here in shading. But the blue is good. And then next, let's put the cursor in the cell and on the layout tab click text direction and it will toggle you through your choices. So we ended up with this column being very wide and we can click in it and adjust the size by clicking here in the width column for cell size. You can also put the cursor until you see those two double lines and double arrows and click and hold and manually change it, which is what I'm going to do here. Then if I click 
into this column, you can see that these different alignment buttons will do left, center, right across the top, left, center, right across the middle, and this is where we're going to put it. So we'll go and change gender to the same alignment. And even come in here and center align that and make it a little bit bigger to take up the space. So if you want to have taller rows, you can quickly do it by hovering your cursor on the very last row line, click, hold, drag it down, then go up to the Layout tab and Distribute Row. And it will space, it will vertically space out the cells so they are all equal. Okay, so this is about changing cell size and using auto fit, which automatically adjusts the column widths based on the text inside them. So if I only selected the text in the two columns here, and then I go to Layout Auto Fit, everything shrinks up. I'm going to do Auto Fit Contents. Everything shrinks up to have no wasted space. It fits exactly the longest string of text here and the longest string of text here. And I'll undo that and do it one more time. I Actually, I believe that it did. I'm going to just make this column wider. And I'm only going to do these two columns, auto fit, auto fit. It included the first column. And I want to show you that there's this little square right here that if you click and pull it, you can also resize a table. So we know how to merge by selecting across the cells that we want to merge, going to the Layout tab and clicking the Merge Cells button. That merges those three cells into one cell. But we can also split them. We do need the insertion point or cursor inside that cell. And then we need to come to the Layout tab, Split Cells, and tell it how many columns and rows that we want. And I'll say three and OK, and it will split them. OK, so the last three things, uh, just for your information, we've been selecting columns like this. But if you just put the cursor just above the table, you'll see that vertical arrow. And if you click, it will select the entire column. You can also sort columns. So if I select just these three cells, I want to sort in alphabetical order. And if you go to the Table Tools, Layout tab, and find the Sort command, and click on it, you will get this dialog box. And we do want to sort that first column. What we have selected uh, is going to reference the text. And we want it in A to Z. And that is ascending. And when we click OK, now C, E, and then U. It goes in alphabetical order. And next is formula. So you click the cursor and put it in the cell that you want the formula to be in. You click the formula command here in the data group. And because it's pretty smart, it found it knows that there's numbers above this cell and it's putting in the formula that it's going to, this cell will equal the sum of the three numbers above. And that's good. So we'll click OK. And it puts the formula in for us and the answer. If we were to update our table and the metals change, we would need to update this manually ourselves by pressing the F9, the function key, F9, right at the top of your keyboard. And uh, 
it should update our total and it does.